Like every professor, I'm trying to figure out what the availability of generative AI means for the teaching of my course. I teach an engineering competitions course which uses Python and Jupyter as the vehicles to try to discover and learn about engineering applications of computational thinking, data analysis, and various workflows that have to do with engineering practice. One of the modules in the course is dedicated to the numerical and geometrical presentation of some concepts in linear algebra. And we begin by talking about the interpretation of matrices as linear transformations. So the idea that a matrix represents the transformation from one vector space to another vector space in two dimensions from one plane to another plane. And so we can bring ideas like rotation and shear and uh, identity and even inverse transformations and all of that. Here is the lesson that starts that module, transform all the vectors is the name. And we have, as indicated here, a helper function, the plot helper function that helps us visualize linear transformations. So for example, we could find the transformation of a matrix right here, where in the left you have a Cartesian plane represented by the vertical and horizontal grid lines and the two standard basis vectors. The horizontal basis vector with coordinates 1, 0 and the vertical basis vector with coordinates 0, 1. And on the right hand side we have a geometrical representation of the plane as transformed by multiplication with a particular matrix. In this case the matrix is minus two and one on the first column, which is indicated by the green arrow, the transformed vector i, and one minus three in the second column, which is shown here by the red arrow, the transformed j vector. So I asked myself, well, we wrote this long script to be able to visualize this, which you can call in a Jupyter notebook using the command or the function name plot under dash linear under dash transformation with the argument A, the matrix A previously defined as an NumPy array. So I asked myself, well, could we do this in a much simpler way using one of the AI tools that are available to us today? So I went to Gemini and I used the prompt. I would like an application that helps visualize a two by two matrix as a linear transformation. It should allow the user to enter the matrix in the format nested list A, B, C, D in Python and always show two side by side plots. On the left, it should show two arrows indicating the standard basis vectors 1, 0 and 0, 1 with grid lines indicating the Cartesian plots. And on the right, it should show the transformed space with two arrows showing the transformed basis vectors, blah, blah. OK, so I put that on Gemini Pro canvas mode and here's the code it generated. It generated actually uh, all of this code with scripts and so on which I don't need to read. I'm just going to go to the visualization here, the preview, and I'm going to try to show you the correct area of my screen so you can see what came out of it. Here I see in the preview mode of Canvas the starting point, which is the two basis vectors. So I'm going to change the first row of this matrix to say minus two, one, and that immediately changes the transform space. I'm going to change the second vector to one and three. And here you see the transformed space in this case. Well, if I want to replicate my example, I would put minus three there <laughs> and you would see the transformed space uh, that was shown in my lesson right here, corresponding to the same linear transformation. So here we are, we can now play around with this app right on Canvas on the preview, or we could probably export this to some hosted location to make it a, an app that can be shared. I mean, you can share this with a link right here from Gemini, but interestingly, we can play around with these values here and immediately get the sense 
for what a linear transformation produces. In this case, we have a uh, matrix format to linearly dependent columns, which results in, of course, the projection of the whole plane onto a line. And if I change this one element of that matrix, now we do have a clearer idea of what happened here. Let's see what happens with that. We could try a rotation matrix. With the first row, we would have one minus one. In the second row, we could have one and zero. And here you have indeed, well, rotation with shear. I combine, I combine rotation and shear. Let's see, maybe a scaling transformation that has You can see there a scaling transformation by two. Let's try a rotation matrix. Zero there, minus one and one comma zero on the second row. And here you have a rotation by 90 degrees counterclockwise. So you can play around with various matrices and see immediately what their effect is provided by Google Canvas without having to write a long script in Python. Very interesting.